Now, again, if you're seeing this video, you are closer to success than you might even currently realize. But I believe that there is a special message here for you. I believe that we are sharing space today on purpose for a reason. And so I'm just going to speak from my heart to you and trust that the synchronicity that guided us here to connect today together means that this message will have a specialness in it for you as well. Manifestation, achieving a goal in life, it's a lot like swimming, if you'll bear with me for this analogy. It's a lot like swimming. You get in your lane of life in the pool, you aim at where you want to go, and you focus, and you tread that water, and you'll get there. And it's true that you are a faster swimmer when you're underwater. That's true. When you're really focused, when you're giving it everything you've got, you are unstoppably fast at manifesting things into reality. And I know you've been proving this and seeing this to yourself lately in your life. But what do you think happens to swimmers when they're going so fast underwater and they forget to come up for air? When they're so caught up in their focus, so caught up in what it is that they're trying to create and what they're trying to get to in their lives that they forget, that they refuse to acknowledge that need for a breath within them. Well, what happens is kind of a moment of self-destruct, if you'll allow my saying of that. It's a moment of self-destruction. It's a moment of falling apart and sometimes creating bigger challenges and problems for ourselves than is necessary. So even though coming up for air on the surface level might seem like you're falling out of alignment with your path or your focus, I want to let you know that all great swimmers must know when it is time to come up and take a breath and then you can go back underwater and keep swimming at the speed that I know you are capable of but only because of that air you breathe into your lungs. So I think you understand this analogy, but what is the air? What is the air? What is the symbol of that when it comes to manifestation and success and achievement of your goal? It's simple. It's, it's actually really simple. It's moments like this. I know you feel it. I know you do, because we wouldn't be able to synchronize and share this message with each other today if it wasn't already active in your field. It's moments like this. It's moments of appreciation and gratitude that we are alive and that we are here and that we get to experience any of this at all. I love how focused you are, how awake you are, and how much of a deliberate creator you are. I genuinely love that so much about you. But this is what it means to come up for air not to get lost in where it is that we're trying to get to, but to remember that we are right here right now. And when you open yourself up like that, we're a lot like a flower or a tree. You know, there's not much difference between you and me and the plants. They feel the sun and they know how to open up their heart, so to speak, and receive the energy that it's transmitting. And I wanted to let you know that right now, right here in this moment, in a very special and genuine place of appreciation and gratitude, that is our version on the human level of opening ourselves up and allowing more energy to come in to ourselves. And I'm not telling you to drop your focus or to give up on what it is that you're working at. No, I'm telling you, it is closer than you think. As a matter of fact, it's right here, right now. But I believe that if you're seeing this message that you're at a special place in your manifestation journey, a special place where you can come up for air and I think that when you come up for air and you have this moment that you've manifested with me today, you'll see that what it is that you've been working towards actually is here already. Because if we stay underwater and we keep swimming, we might miss the fact that we've already done it. And we have done it, by the way. The shift, it's happened. I know you feel it within yourself. You are more focused, more powerful, more clear, you are so much more of everything that you've always wanted to be. And that was you, you did that. Nobody else did that for you. Not me or anyone else, it was all you. So congratulations, come up for air, 
appreciate the amazingness that you are, appreciate and see that you really have already accomplished what it is that you are trying to accomplish. And then you keep swimming after you've got that breath. That's a powerful creator. Remember, remember, sometimes we need to come up for air. Sometimes we need to open ourselves up and allow the energy of the present moment to come into us. And then, then we can focus and channel it again towards our definite purpose of what it is that you are working towards in your life. So congratulations, my friend, because you know what? I'm not even afraid to sound kind of egoic in saying this. <laughs> We're killing it. I mean, seriously, like high five right now. What an amazing time that is happening. Things are changing so rapidly and I just can't help but feel like I've never had so much clarity and so much groundedness and, and so much deliberateness within myself. And I'm really happy to be alive and to be here and to be able to share any of it with you. So thanks for coming to Earth with me, you know? <laughs> what a great life we've got. I really appreciate you so much. I know you know this within yourself that you are the voice that speaks in these videos. And I wanna thank you from the deepest part of who I am. Thank you. I love this life. I love it. Great job, keep going. Breathe in that fresh air, my friend. Much love to you and I hope to see you in the next video.